you know, this game is, is as important as any as we've played all year. And um, it's a playoff type of feel, um, you know, and we're going to have to prepare for that and everything that goes along with it. Kind of a different mindset, like you know, chasing and on the road, let's get through this win. Well, now you know, the front runners and they're at home. So it's, it's, you can't afford to relax, obviously, but just talk about the different mindset than y'all been Our mindset can't change. And I, I told our team this a couple weeks back. Until this season's over, we're the 6-7 and seven team that played last year. And that doesn't change until it's over. So everything that motivated us to work and to get to this point has to still be in play. Because the reality of it is that until this year's over and everything's complete and we get to January, you know, the end of December and January, we're still a 6-7 and seven team. And that chip on our shoulder has to be there. You know, this game last year is one that really, really hurt us when we played them over there it, 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 in a lot of different ways. Um, it, it, I mean, shoot, it, it almost, you know, it almost kept us out of postseason play. And, um, you know, they played really well and, and we didn't feel like we played our best game. So, you know, for us, um, our team is one that has really done a great job of learning from the past mistakes and from last year. Um, and certainly, this is a game that we need to be prepared to go play. They're a good football team. I mean, two of their three losses are to Power 5 teams um, that have been in the top 25 or still are in the top 25. They're a good football team. They've got good players. Um, you know, relaxing is something that it doesn't happen until this season's over for about a day and then you're back on to the next one. So um, for us, it's, you know, everything we've worked for is in front of us. You know, you, you'd like to think that we have the discipline as a staff and as players to be able to stay focused and finish the job, um, and that's what we need to do. Local quarterback, is he sim similar to McLeod? He gave you a lot of trouble just extending plays last year, I thought. And, and, and just talk about him, and y'all haven't done a lot of that. Maybe McLeod is similar to that. Yeah, he, he is a similar player. Um, I think this guy doesn't throw the ball in – in jeopardy though he, he takes care of the football he makes really good decisions um, I think he's a good passer you know I think a lot of teams you play you've got some mobile guys that you know they throw it but they're they're better run I think he's a passer first and you know last year he killed us I mean we got back there I don't know four five six times had an opportunity to finish and get sacks and TFLs and all these things and we didn't we didn't finish I mean we didn't do a very good job and he killed us last year so um you know, I think we've done a better job in the last few weeks of, of keeping our lane and our rush lane integrity and doing a good job of staying in our spokes. Um, you have to do that with with Rainer or he'll I mean, he'll get out and then now you're out in coverage and you got your back to him and he'll I mean, he'll kill you down the field. He's a really talented runner. I think he's a tough kid. He, he runs hard. He, you know, he doesn't give himself up. He's a tough out. I mean, I, I think a lot of this kid is a player. I, I think he's a heck of a football player. And I, I think I mean. You have a player like that. It's what makes your team go. They got good weapons around him, naturally, obviously. Um, but he's playing at a high level. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's that's always – you got a guy like him who can really do it on the ground and in the air. You know, you, you got to really be on top of it. How's Keon? Keon's good. Um, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll be out this week. I mean, you know, naturally, uh, you know, but he's, he's good. He's in good spirits. Uh, you know, all the tests and everything came back negative, you know, naturally, you know, he, he's got a concussion, you know, after the game. So he's in protocol for that. And he's uh, still really sore and banged up, um, you know, but he'll, he'll be fine. So, you know, we're, we're hopeful for uh, hoping that, you know, for South Al, he'll be back. But, you know, I, I don't you don't rush these types of things. And certainly it's going to be on the timeline where he can get healthy and get back and, and you know, play at 100 percent without any kind of risk of injury. Is the team doing anything special for homecoming this week? Homecoming's for everybody else. Foot, the football game is, is for us, and homecoming's for everybody else. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's it's cool because, you know, homecoming means a lot to a lot of people. And uh, we play a big part in the homecoming festivities, naturally. You know, it culminates with the game. Um, and we take that very seriously, playing for the people who've, who've come before us and the people who claim UL and the people who went to school here and are alumni. That's important to us. Um, but, you know, I mean, for us, it, it's about the game and, and that's the reward for us. You know, I mean, we've been working relentlessly since January for, for 12 opportunities as a team. And um, and this is one of 12. Um, it's exciting to be at home. It's exciting, you know, for all that stuff. But, uh, you know, homecoming is really for everybody else. You know, whenever, whenever you play, 
your job is to is to go play between the white lines, and that's what we intend on doing. Uh, the, he didn't have a bye week, which kind of did. So is 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 did it help with Caleb or anyone else? That, do you think or? Yeah, I would say Caleb is um, at least questionable, if not probable, for this week. So we're we're pushing to try to get him back this week. Um, he'll be limited today in practice. You know, we kind of the first time he's back in it a little bit, um, but he's getting really close. Um, you know, we had a lot of guys that were, you know, like I said, really, I thought we did a pretty good job getting guys back for Texas State. Came out of that one really in pretty good shape. Um, you know, Antoine Bayless ended up being fine at the end and, and all that stuff ended up being good. So, um, you know, really the last couple of weeks have been, you know, I don't know, what was it? Two games spread over about 20, be about 21 game, 21 days, something like that. Um, that's been a good thing for us, probably what we needed. Um, you know, and our guys have done a good job of getting themselves healthy. Obviously, athletic training staff and everything, um, you know, has been on top of that. So, you know, we feel like we're, you know, you still got guys nursing something you always do. But, uh, but no, I mean, really, you know, relatively speaking, you know, you, you're, you're pretty fortunate right now. What about them defensively? I think they're playing really good sound defense. You know, I mean, they uh, – They've got, you know, veteran linebacker back, you know, number 36. You can tell he's making all the calls out there, communicating. Um, you know, it's they're very different than some of the other teams we've played. You know, a lot of some of the other teams we've played have been like really heavy pressure and there's people from all over the place. These guys are going to kind of line up and they, they know where they're at, though, if that makes any sense. You know, like they, they don't have a lot of misfits. You don't have guys that are out of place. You, they're 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 fitting things the way they're supposed to. They're making you drive the field for the most part. They're not giving up a bunch of big you know big explosive plays. Um, they get the ball on the ground. They make you play another set of downs, which is hard to do. Um, it's hard to be efficient over and over and over again. And I think they've got good size and length up front. On the back end, you know they're aggressive in their fits. You can tell who the run fitter is supposed to be, and they do a really good job of mixing it up. It kind of all looks the same pre snap. And then on the snap, someone else is fitting fast. And then it's the next snap, it's someone else. So they do a really good job. I think um, – I, I don't want to say it's simple because there are a lot of variables to it, um, but it's very, very, very sound. And I think they're accomplishing what they want to. They're making you drive the field. And when you make a mistake, they capitalize on it and they give their offense a chance to go and score and take the lead. So they're, they're playing really good team football. Um, and I think defensively, I think they've got good players, I mean, like everybody in the league. You know, I mean, everybody you play is going to have good ones. You know, I think number 90 up front was a problem for us last year. Um, you know, we, we got to do a better job up front than we did last year when we played them. Um, you know, I talked about 36. I think he's really good. I think their safeties on the back end run, tackle well. Um, you know, I think they're a good collection of football players, and I think their staff has done a really good job. You can tell they have an identity in what they are. It's not just we're bringing this, we're bringing that, and we'll find out what fits. They know what they want to do, um, and they're going to challenge you to out-execute them. And for them, it's worked most of the time. So, you know, it'll be a challenge. We're going to have to be efficient. We're going to have to execute well. Going to have to really limit negative plays because I don't think it's going to be, you know, I talked about Texas State. There's going to be some negatives, but there's a chance for some big ones too. Um I don't know there's as much opportunity for the big ones as with some of these other teams we play. Could Jalen be an option or part of a solution at star? Yeah, he played star the other night. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Jalen Clark's role was, you know, he's he's splitting time at star and at safety. Um, you know, this game, you know, Arkansas State, they play a little more 12 than some other teams that we've played the last couple of weeks have. So that's that helps, too, you know, where Amir gets a break whenever we can get some different personnel in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, Jalen's, uh, you know, you know, last year, Jalen really didn't start playing a whole lot till right about this time of the year. Um, so, you know, I talked to him, you know, during the, during the, you know, a couple extra days that we had about, you know, there's no reason why this year can't be just like that, you know, where he comes on strong for us when we really need him. Um, because he's really talented, you know, he's a physical, you know, he's, he's physically, he's very gifted. Um, it's not always easy to split time between, you know, star and free and boundary safety. Um, but he's an older veteran player now. He, he, he needs to be able to step up and do that for us, and he has.